Okay, there we go. That's what is clogged. Let's do more. Hello, welcome to Scratch Studio Printing. In this video, I will show you and tell you how I keep getting clogs on the Chidi Q1 Pro. Let's scratch to this topic. Okay, so if you haven't seen the fully review of the Chidi Q1 Pro, I will leave a link right here or here. I, I don't know which one, but there will be something pop up right here and a link in the description down below. So you can go and watch the full review of that 3D printer. But in this one, I would like to talk about how this 3D printer keeps getting clogged. It's actually over here. That's why I keep looking. <laughs> on the Q1 Pro, if you know, on the extruder, there's no latch like on the Q Max and 3v3 or many of the 3D printers out there. Not quite sure because I don't have that much, but on the 3D printers I have where you can unload and load filament or engage the gear and disengage the gear. But on the Q1 Pro, it doesn't have that. The gear is always locked. There's no way you can unlock the gear from manually pushing in the filament. The gear always sit tightly together until you push in the filament and then extrude. It will extrude your filament in there. But there's no way to unlock that so you can manually load it in filament. And on the Q1 Pro, the default way for loading in filament is to unclip the tube. You pull the tube out a little bit so you get access to the filament. And then you cut the filament out. Then you will pull out your filament. Then you put in a new filament and then just extrude the rest of the filament. There is no unload button on the Q1 Pro and there's no unlocked latch for the extruder. So you just need to keep pushing filament into the extruder. And I did not do it that way. I use Orca Slicer to heat up the nozzle and then retract. Then I pull out the filament. So that's why I keep getting clogs because that's not the way how you do it. And that's the way I do it for every single 3D printers I have. But on the Q1 Pro here, it's a little bit different. And I actually don't like that feature at all. I'd rather have the filament unload instead of just cutting the filament off and unloading manually. I feel like it's very bad to keep unplugging and plugging in the bolting tube. So yeah, I don't like that feature. And that's why I keep getting clogged. I already got two clogs while using this 3D printers for the past three days. Too much talking. So here's the clip of how to unclog your Q1 Pro and how I did it and what the extruder inside looks like because it is very interesting. So here's the portion of that video. Okay, so my um, GD Q1 Pro is clogged for the second time. This is the second time that this printer has clogged. So I will do a full disassemble of this and see the extruder why it's clogging and maybe this will help you in the future too when you get yourself one of this 3D printer or maybe you already have one and having facing this problem so I'm gonna tear this down and see what we are working with so that when it gets stuck we know exactly what we are working with the fan is running but I hope you can still hear me so first of all I'm gonna be taking this off you just pull it up let it hang like that and maybe you can use something to support from this bottom right here is your clip that clips onto your tube we can see right here actually how do I turn off the fan and we can actually see the filament in action right there look at that when I put in the filament we can actually see that it's doing that <laughs> which looks so cool and right here is where the filament goes down into the extruder gear and then it goes to the heat sink and then it goes to the nozzle let's take off the extruder even put a washer in there which is nice one more right here oh my gosh so you only need to take out those two bolts the wire the wire up here is getting this thing stuck the wire from the bottom here so I guess we cannot take it fully out this is the filament right on sensor so I'm just gonna unplug it okay so I'm gonna try and take out this extruder because it's stuck on the back and I don't want to disassemble everything so I'm just gonna see what is happening behind me so it's like that so uh, take that one that one that one that one out there are two more screw at the top here okay there we go oh you just gotta Use a little bit extra force, okay. Okay, so if we look at from the top here, we can see the gear inside here, which is pretty darn cool. Look at that. And if we look right here, that's a helical gear. It's driven by the helical gear. The the motor back here has a helical gear. Drive these gears to extrude the filament through this heat block into the nozzle, which is really cool. These gears are so cool. I like them. They run smoother, better, and actually quieter. Okay, let's do that angle. <laughs> Hopefully it's a good angle. And I can't even turn it because the filament is stuck inside there. And there's a spring here that pushes this plastic piece so that it holds onto the filament nicely. So when it extrude, it extrude nicely. So let's take this thing out. And I believe that right there is a bearing. Um, I don't want to mess around with that spring because putting spring back in there is actually quite hard. I just need to figure out where is the filament that it gets stuck on. 
Okay, there we go. It pops. Look at this. I'll just rotate like that because, like I said, I don't want this spring to pop out and it'll be like a pain in the butt to put it back in. And look at that. Look at that right there. That is our filament right there. Can you see that part? Yes, right here. That's where the filament gets stuck. This is PLA wood, okay? This is PLA wood. So that's where the filament got stuck right there. And the reason why it could not extrude because it's stuck right there. It looks like the heat creeps up, up, up into here. And then the filament gets melted here. And then it got cooled down and it got stuck. So how am I gonna even get that out? The filament is getting stuck between this part right here. Where this part comes in contact with the filament. So it looks like the filament is kind of melted into this other gear here. So can I just kind of force it out? Let me try getting rid of that. And if I can actually pull this gear up, it would be great. Okay, there we go. I got this gear free. I love messing with gears, man. Yep, so that is where our filament is. How am I gonna get that out? I think the filament is basically stuck all the way through. I can break this part. I can try pulling it out. What I'm gonna do is turn on the printer, turn up the temperature to about 210C, and then try pushing the filament through it. That's a huge clog, man. Never got that clog on my other printers. I think one of the reasons why my 3D printer got clogged like this is that there's no on and off switch button, like example, on the Cable Max. On the Cable Max, there's a lever up here where you can engage and disengage the gear so that you can manually load in the filament let the 3d printer do it so it doesn't have that you can only load in the filament and when it gets to the gear you gotta use the 3d printer to load in the filament or unload the filament basically this one does not have unload it's at 200c right now so i try pushing this in i'm gonna be using this one to push it in so let's see how it looks like when I push in. Okay, so it goes in like that. No, I can't even push it in. It's like stuck here. That is so bad. It kind of got fused into the plastic part here too. Okay, I guess I need to um, heat up this thing a little bit. Be using my old method, kind of heating up this part. Just like that. A little bit, I don't want to burn. I don't want to burn anything. Just so that it melts. There we go. I hope you can see it. I was able to push in a little bit. It got softer, so I was able to push in it. Okay, okay, keep going. Okay, there we go. Time to turn up the temperature. I'm gonna put it to 240C. Look at that, look at the other side. I hope you can see the other side. Filament is coming out the other side. And I kinda screwed up, oh my gosh, dude. I should not have taken out those two bolts. That was a huge mistake. Don't do that, okay? So don't do that. Next time, I'm not gonna do that this time. First time taking this off, I don't really know. Try to put this back in place. And I'm gonna put this bolt back in there. Is it like this? Don't take out these long screws. Let them, keep them in there, okay? Don't take it out. Learn from my mistake and don't make the same mistake. Push in the filament nicely now. Okay, I don't know what happened. Oh my God. Since I already messed up, I'm gonna take it out, take it apart. <laughs> and see what I'm working with. A little bit hot. Okay, there we go. That's what is clogged. Oh, this was exactly what I was trying to take it out, but I couldn't earlier because I did not know the process like this. It got clogged in here. It got clogged in here. Oh, that is so bad. So, yep, yep. Look at that. Look at that piece of clog. It's so nasty. Look at that. This is a good shot for thumbnail. Let's take this out. Oh my gosh. I need to clean this part up by blowing it. <laughs> Looks like the heat sink and the heat block here is actually pretty nice. Turn it back to zero degree and when it's cooled down, I'll put everything back together. Okay, while that's cooling down, I'll show you how to put this thing back together. This gear right here, it goes into this rod right here. The part where it makes contact with the filament goes down first, like that. Just do it like how I did, did it here. Don't take this out, just flip this up like a lever. And then now we can just push it back in a little bit forced to the right so that it goes in here just like that matching the gear 
lock it in right here push in the rod a little bit it's spinning freely okay now we can put this one back in here just like that line everything up push it in and look at that it's so cool oh okay 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 so this is also a helical gear so two helical gears and then these are spur gear down here helical gear are the driver gear ah amazing okay so now that it has been cooled down i'm gonna put this thing back together the back plate goes in push it into place there we go nice click and now it's running nicely the hole right here is where this thing goes in and then drives this one i need to put those two screws in first oh the fan finally shuts off at about 50 c there we go now these two last screw and now we can just put this thing back oh before we do that we need to plug in this finman renault sensor here there we go what i found interesting is that it has an insert right here right but that one does not do anything huh what is way about i guess it's fine now let's load in the filament load it from the top here okay, let's push this thing in there just like that and let's see the filament come out magic let's see the magic happen hey look at that wood is coming out from this nozzle it's coming quite nasty though let's <laughs> drew more smoking hot look at that screw one more time and we will get rid of the red asa and yeah that's exactly how you unclog your cutie i mean your chidi tech q1 pro if it gets clogged into the gear that pushes the filament out well 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 look at my setup that is exactly how you unclog your q1 pro if your q1 pro here gets stuck like that you basically just need to take out the whole head extruder and then just do it from the inside because there's no way you can get the filament through it the film expand and then it gets stuck with the plastic inside of the extruder so yeah well that's how you get your q1 pro to get unclogged thank you so much for watching and as always keep on 3d printing